Hi, and welcome to Adventures with Alexia. Today we are at Knott's Berry Farm in Anaheim, California. We are here to check out the Boysenberry Festival. Try a few of the yummy boysenberry treats. Take a look at what's going on around the park. Also look at the cute boysenberry merchandise. And just plain have some fun. Wanna come with me? Hi and welcome to Adventures with Alexia. Today we are at Knott's Boysenberry Festival. As you can see, the sign behind me says, Welcome to Knott's Boysenberry Festival. Except it's backwards. <laughs> and we are here to walk around the park, try some of the boysenberry stuff. I'm here with Amelia. And maybe just go on some rides. But the park is pretty busy, and so we'll see how many rides we can get on and mainly just have fun. Join me. We just arrived at Knott's Berry Farm and we are across the street in this parking lot over here, not the one by the hotel. And I've never parked at this one, but I can tell it's going to be a busy day today. Headed over to the ticket booth. We're going to pick up our season passes. What do you think? You think it's going to be busy? Yeah. <sighs> it should be an interesting day. We'll some quality time with my daughter and we're gonna try some of the berry festival stuff and see what it's like on a busy day yeah Knott's Berry Farm 2023 season passes are 155 for regular 195 for gold and 290 for platinum a day admission is 99 but if you think you're going to come back, I would recommend just getting the regular season pass because it's only just a little bit more than day admission. Get a woodstock? Cute. Alright, there's a cave area you can go through. Go ahead, Amelia. Go ahead of me. This is fun for little kids. If all the rides are busy, this is kind of like a cool place for you to keep yourself occupied. We're gonna go through. <laughs> Cave. This is a really good area, like if it's hot outside at Knott's Berry Farm, you can come through here and walk through and kind of cool off too. We have the river all decorated with 
eggs and carrots for Easter. That's kind of cool. We are waiting in line for our first boysenberry treat of the day. What are we going to get? The cotton candy. The boysenberry flavored cotton candy. What do you think it's going to taste like? We'll see. We'll see. Yay, and they finally started. I always thought this swinging, the kite tree looked cool swinging around. He's having so much fun. Amelia got... We weren't planning on getting this, but we couldn't resist this popcorn bucket. How much was the popcorn, popcorn bucket? Do you remember? Uh, let me look at the receipt. It's so cute though, show it to the camera. It's Snoopy's head! And what kind of popcorn's in there? Buttered popcorn? Yes. Uh, it doesn't say on the receipt. I'm gonna have to go back over and check the price. But yeah, it looks cute. I got to be, well, we both got it because we're both going to eat it. The boysenberry flavored cotton candy. Who doesn't love cotton candy? Well, I guess there are some people that don't love it, but we love cotton candy. We're going to give it a try, see what it tastes like. It's just like you can see, it's regular cotton candy, but it's supposedly boysenberry flavored, so I'm excited. Ooh, that's tasty. Mmm. Hi, Amelia. Try a taste. She's going in for it. Is it good? Yeah. What does it taste like to you? Like, if you've never had boysenberry before, what does it taste like? Uh, it tastes like purple. Yeah. The purple nerds. The purple nerds? Let me see. Yeah, I'd say it tastes like purple nerds. So grape, maybe? But it's good. I definitely recommend it. The cotton candy was um, $7.50, and Amelia's popcorn bucket was $15. That's, that's about that's about what you'd expect for a popcorn bucket. But it's cute. She can go home and enjoy it. Hang it up and use it for other things. love the way they have this whole place decorated. I love how they have they utilize flowers to decorate their park. It's so pretty the way they do it all. I kind of want something like this in my backyard, huh? It's so cute. So we're over by the big rides. And over here it looks like there's a construction wall that they're redoing some of the rides the facades of the rides, certain areas. So just know that, woo! That was loud. <laughs> just know that uh, there's gonna be a little construction while they're here. And basically we're like, we're, I guess we're here on a busy day. I was talking to somebody in line for the um, cotton candy. And the reason why it's so busy here is because I guess it's senior ditch day, spring break for this area, and the Boys and Berry Festival. So we picked the, <laughs> we certainly picked a good day to come. <laughs> so the Snoopy Land has swings for kids and the, uh, this land over here where the big rides are, I forget what this land is called, um, Fiesta Village has 
this really cool looking. I love the artwork on these swings. And it has all of the California missions. I believe those are the California missions painted on it. It's just so beautiful. One thing I really love about this place is the history that they have around here. How old this place is. Well, I mean, it's not super old, but the, they have like Old West Town theme stuff. And they've got, um, I've got to look for it, but I think the construction's covering all of the missions, but just like on this ride right here, they have all of our California missions on display in glass cases. And I forgot where they are. I don't come here a lot, so I'm gonna have to look for them. And if I find them, I'll show them to you. So I just learned from the park workers that in the construction area over here, there's no way you can get to the California missions. But you know what's really cool? They're keeping them, so that's great. So once they're done with all this construction here, and if you have like a fourth grader that's learning about all the missions, I highly recommend coming to Knott's Berry Farm and taking your kid through the California Mission Area so they can see all of the, um, the models of the mission. It's really great. There they go. Supreme Scream. The Dipping Dot Station has boysenberry flavored dots. We're in line for the Dipping Dots to get boysenberry flavored dots. Are you excited? We're going to have to give them a try. Okay. You're trying the dots. Show them the dots. Boysenberry flavored dots. Good? Yeah. What do they taste like? Like the cotton candy. They taste like the cotton candy. So they taste like the cotton candy, which tastes like grape nerd. Yeah. But you like it though. Yeah. Out of ten, one, one being the worst, ten being the best. What would what would you rate the eight? The eight. The, yeah. So she said eight for. She would rate it an eight for the dipping dots. Yeah. And um, you don't have to wait till the Boysenberry Festival to get the dipping dots. They're year round, the guy said, and you get a discount with your season pass. Yeah. I think they were seven, normally eight something, and they were seven something. So, yay! We have a funnel cake station and they have boysenberry. They have boysenberry funnel cake. They have the fun bun, which is a fried cinnamon bun with a boysenberry glaze for $14 and a boysenberry donut funnel cake for $19. They look pretty good. Unfortunately, I can't have any, but it looks good. It looks like the log ride is closed today. Oh, it's empty. I wonder if they're doing something with the log ride. I'm gonna have to find out. But anyways, today's too cold. It's too foggy outside to be on a log ride anyway. If there's one ride I want to go on, it's the Calico Mine ride. It's packed with history and it's just a fun old ride that's been here for a long time. It looks like the wait is 30 minutes. We're gonna go walk around more and then come back and see if the line gets any shorter. We're gonna go into Classic Candy and we're gonna see if they have anything boysenberry. Looks like they have a cute boysenberry display on the outside. Let's check it out. And they do. What are these? Boysenberry tea cookies. Oh, those are cool. 
and some jumbo boysenberry cookies. And then these are like, you see these a lot, these types of cookies, these nuts, boysenberry cookies. Oh, they have boysenberry tea. That might be good. And then they have a boysenberry punch and that's concentrate, so you'd have to mix it with water. And they have the boysenberry black tea. And boysenberry rock candy. Let's see, boysenberry honey. Oh, and these are cute. These boysenberry spreaders. Those are really cute. Here's the boysen, boysenberry farm. They have sweatshirts and t-shirts. And it looks like they've got zippers, shot glasses, mugs, and some hats, tank tops. Boysenberry bracelets. And some more mugs and shot glasses. More mugs. I don't know if those are, yeah, those are all boysenberry. And then the uh, drinking canteens and shot glasses. Oh, this is cute. This glass mug with just kind of like knots on it with boysenberries. That's cute. And then they have uh, other types of mugs and glasses that look the same. Oh, these are cute over here too. Oh, this is so cute. This cream pour and mugs. And what is this? It's just a thing to put stuff in. That's cute. And they have a book about Cordelia Knott, pioneering businesswoman. Oh, cute. So they've got pot holders and tea towels. I might get a tea towel before the end of the day. That's really cute. And look at these neato plates. Let's say Knott's Berry Farm on them. Those are really cool. They have this cute uh, boysenberry shawl and a cute boysenberry purse and a little bag to keep things in and then another larger canvas bag. It's cute. Then they've got some boysenberry scented candles and bath bombs. And uh, it looks like a little mix of shampoo, conditioner, and body wash down there. Wow, they're just boysenberry it out here. So just a FYI, we went through the store and there was a lot of amazing boysenberry stuff. But if your kids bring cash, you're going to be out of luck here at Knott's Berry Farm. I haven't been here in a while. They were taking cash last time I was here. They don't take cash anymore. They do give you pass holder discounts, but no cash. So just know that you're... If your kid doesn't have a credit card, you're going to be paying credit card for things. Today is lines, lines, lines. We just came here on a busy day, but good thing we're just here to check out the boysenberry stuff and look at all the retail stuff and just check out the park in general. Cordelia's Pie Kitchen. You can go in there and get a boysenberry shaped cookie. And they're open from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. We can at least maybe go in there and see what the cookies look like. So you can come into Cordelia's Kitchen, which is this cute little, tiny little root house. What is this, like a little bakery? It's supposed to mimic maybe a kitchen? 
It looks like it's supposed to mimic her kitchen, yes. And you can bring your kids in here and you can buy a cookie. And I think the cookie was four fifty. Anyways, so they can decorate the cookies with frosting and they're boysenberry shaped. So I'm we're gonna see how Amelia does. So it looks like you have purple sprinkles and blue sprinkles and multicolored red and purple and white sprinkles to choose from. It looks like Amelia is choosing some purple sprinkles. And I think that's because that's what boys and berries is the color that they are. Are you going to add any other colors in there, Amelia? Oh, we're going for the red and white sprinkles too. Very fun. And I think they give you two cookies, right? Yeah. So you'll have two to decorate. Oh, so Amelia is all done decorating her cookies. She doesn't want her cookies quite yet. So you can put them back in the really cute little case, cookie case that they provide you with. That's so cute. And then a little Peanuts character on the straw that's so cute oh it's linus oh very cute well lucky us and thank you so much we're gonna go over and check out this lady over here Ooh, look at all this beautiful fabric what do you make over here i make adult bibs baby bibs backpacks aprons scrunchies card holders kleenex holders uh, travel trays, blankets. Wow. And look at you have like even like um, some material with sports teams like the Dodgers. That's really cool. So yeah, so bibs, aprons. Let's go in and look at what they, she has. It looks like there's some really cute like Easter aprons. Oh, and it, oh. Oh, it's an adult bib, and there's probably some adults here that probably would need it during the Boysenberry Festival, right? Yeah. And then uh, children's bibs, and it's they're all really, really well made. Wow. Oh, and scrunchies. Scrunchies are always super popular. And uh, backpacks. Wow. And you can get backpacks with your favorite sports team. So say you're a Raiders fan, you can come here and um, get one of the backpacks and wear them to a Raiders game. That's really cool. More scrunchies. Baby blankets. Baby blankets. Oh, these are so cute. If you know somebody that's having a baby, come here to Knott's Berry Farm and come to the booth across from um, Cordelia's Kitchen. And what do you call? Is it Purple Tack? Purple Tack? Yep. And this is a local vendor. And uh, Knott's Berry Farm lets her set up her vendor here. And I have to say, from what everything looks like, everything is so nicely made. So beautiful. Tote bags. Tote bags. And then here's all the prices up here. And that's not bad. So there's a tasting room here. And it looks like they have uh, cauliflower bites, boysenberry bread pudding, chicken wings, charcuterie board, salmon, cucumber, loaded <laughs> potato bowl, and sushi burrito, all for the boysenberry festival. Let's go in and check it out. Here, oh my god. Oh, this is so cute the way they have it decorated. Hi, Mr. Chicken. So cute. I love how it's like dark in here, but they have all the lights for the different booths. Oh, that's kind of cool. I guess we have to wait in line over here. Oh, that's tap room purchases. Walk through there and just look at it. We're just gonna walk through 
I'm not getting anything. I'm not going to purchase anything, but I'm just going to walk through. Looks like they've got uh, the cauliflower bites over there and the loaded potatoes over here. Boysenberry margaritas, mudslides, and fro boysenberry frosé, which I'm assuming is a boysenberry slushy. That's cool. And the cute little decorations on the stage. Huh. And then all of your boysenberry alcoholic beverages. I bet you you can get a tasting card and then you can just pay for them individually as well. That's really cool. It looks like the chicken wings are over here. Chicken wings with the boys in very sweet chili glaze. And ranch dressing. And just uh, some more juices and bread pudding. Cool. Very cool and very cute. So um, it looks like the Old West Town mostly has most of the boysenberry stuff. This vendor right here, it looks like they've got boysenberry tea. Oh, they have boysenberry boba maybe? looks like it. Yep, it looks like they've got boysenberry boba. And we like our boba, so we're gonna have to try that. She's back here making our boba iced tea. I think the name of the, pl the place is Leafy Love Tea. And it's another vendor in um, Knott's Berry Farm. Thank you so much! It looks really good. Okay, we got our boba tea. It's an iced tea with boba, boysenberry boba. So it's just like a boysenberry iced tea. with boba flavor, I mean, boysenberry flavor yeah. boba. Very good, I recommend it. Most of the vendors, from what I understand, are all local vendors that aren't there all the time. They're only there during the Boysenberry Festival, so if you're around during Boysenberry Festival, stop into their booths and check them out. Here 
working at the park said that the pizza place is the best place to eat because it's more like a, a, like a, like a better restaurant. And this is pretty good. And I'm happy they have plant-based options. in front of the Denver Rio Grande, the station, the train station, and uh, we had so much fun just walking around, and yeah. I don't even think you need to go on rides to have fun here at Knott's Berry Farm. You can just taste stuff, and especially during the Boysenberry Festival, you can taste stuff, yeah. and, uh, and what else? What else can you do? You can go shopping. You can walk around, you know, learn a little bit about history. Go see all the vendors. Go see all the vendors. There's a lot of vendors here that aren't Knott's Berry Farm vendors. I mean, they're here at Knott's Berry Farm, but, but, they, don't work for but the they don't work for the company. They work for themselves. So come out and support them and um, walk around, have fun, go on rides. Anyways, I hope you had fun on my adventure even though it was just walking around and no rides. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification button if you want to know when I have a video coming out. Thank you so much for joining me on my adventures. I really, really appreciate everybody that watches. And um, I'll see you next time when I have another adventure. Bye.